The first question is why is it important for people to identify and penetrate the reality of the world in which we live today? The answer is that Islam has come to us from the Quran and from the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, who himself informed us that there was an age which was to come which would be known as Akhiru Zaman, the last age and in which there would be tremendous trials for mankind. Indeed, these were trials and tests that would be unprecedented in human history. Never in the lifetime of mankind would mankind have ever experienced trials and tests as they would in Akhiru Zaman. And we were given signs by which we could recognize that age when it comes. For example, he said that there would be tall buildings. People would be competing with each other in the construction of tall buildings. We are in that age. He said that women would be dressed and yet be naked. We are in that age. He said that women would be dressed like men. We are in that age. He said there would be universal consumption of riba. We are in that age. What more do you want to recognize that we are in Akhiru Zaman? And he spoke about Akhiru Zaman as an age in which things are not going to be what they appear to be. Because the mastermind of Akhiru Zaman is Dajjal, the false messiah. And he said that Dajjal will come with two things, the river and the fire. But his river would appear to be a fire and his fire would, be appear, would appear to be a river. In other words, the road to heaven would be made to look like the road to hell. And the road to hell would be made to look like the road to heaven. And so if you exercise judgment based only on external observation, you would be mistaken in matters in which you are being tested. And this is what Surah Al-Kaf came to teach us and to warn us about in that encounter between Musa alayhi salam, the Prophet Moses, and Khidr alayhi salam, who was blessed with knowledge directly from Allah, and who with that knowledge was able to penetrate to the reality of things. Musa alayhi salam was confronted with three events. The boat, the boy, the wall. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's time for you to go back and pick up your Quran and study Surah Al-Kaf of the Quran. And on all three occasions, he, Musa alayhi salam, exercised judgment based upon external observation, rational inquiry. And on all three occasions, he was wrong. And the reality was something else, and that reality could only be penetrated by the one who had special knowledge, internal knowledge, not just external knowledge. This is that world in which we now live today. And this is why it is so important for us to, in, to penetrate and to understand the reality of the world today. Because if we don't, we can be misled by the appearance of the world. And it may look to us like a river, when in fact it's a fire and we'll be taken into the hellfire. Indeed, most of mankind are going in that direction. And uh, there is a hadith, hadith al-Qudsi in Sahih Muslim, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declared that 999 of every 1,000 in Akhir zaman will enter into the hellfire. Because they are misled by the appearances and they enter into shirk. Shirk is the only sin that Allah would not forgive. And a loving and a merciful God cannot send 999 to every 1000 in the hellfire. So it can only be because of shirk basically that most of mankind are going to enter into the hellfire. At least we should be able to penetrate the reality and to recognize the shirk today. For example, the shirk in the use of paper money. The shirk in the modern state, which declares that it is sovereign, and in voting in elections, which does validate that claim to sovereignty.
All of these shirk surround us today. And if we do not attempt to penetrate the reality of the world today, we are heading.